Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. Yo, Laura Spade here. Guess what? I'm here on Arcadia. I'm getting ready to do a little crafting run. Oh yeah, that's right, crafting. We all know it. We all love it. And we, half of us don't even know how to even get started. Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, check this out. Alright, so I have stuff... Lots of stuff already prepared. All right, right as of right now, I'm pretty sure if if you know me at all, you've been noticing that I've been throwing a whole lot of our matrix up on the auction house lately for bid only prices. Well, I'm kind of gonna slow that down just a little bit. However, here is a little thing about some crafting. All right, before we even go too far into it, I mean, check this out. We got profession skills right up here. And uh, as you can see, my number one is Vehicle Structural Engineer. That pretty much means that we are rocking it out with one of these tools right here. This is the most economical way to become a better crafter, okay? Sorry, I got the sniffles. Guys, listen. The RK5, okay? And, of course, it takes welding wire as well. As you can see right there, it says welding wire. Materials used eight. So it doesn't take too much welding wire, but, yeah, it does cost a little bit to, you know, even buy this stuff because, well, the welding wire in and of itself is about 150% markup. However, it does require sweat to produce. Uh, and I can show you a little welding wire blueprint right here. To even show you that look it takes listerium alternative ing ingot vibrant sweat and an osper ingot however it's level three that doesn't mean like level three it's recommended level is level five okay if you are not even a st started out on crafting at all odds are you're level zero okay like you have to ease into this stuff okay like as you can see I'm level 22 in that now, how Vehicle Structure in Engineer basically uh, levels all this right here is because of the skill called Engineering. And we're going to look at that right now. Let's see. Where, where is that? It's probably somewhere over, over in here somewhere. Let's see. Engineering? Where is Engineering? Where they put it? I don't even know. It has to be somewhere in here. It might be in general then. No? No? Oh my god. What about Science? Yeah, it's in science. Engineering, okay? As I've explained before, there's many different types of skills that go into this, okay? So we have engineering skill right here. It's under science. But you get science skills from... You get the engineering skills and computer skills and stuff like that from all this right here. And that actually in turn levels all the rest of the stuff up just slightly now of course you know actually getting into some of the actual crafting of components and stuff like that that's going to raise your individual level for that type of crafting so mechanical engineer i do a lot of that because that's a lot of the materials that are used to actually make stuff like uh, say well let's see a basic filters blueprint you make basic filters it's going to end up uh running you up into the mechanical engineer so that this is like something that you need to start out with i think these are the actual blueprints that they actually sell in the uh, uh, technician terminals okay the basic filters blueprint that's the number one and you know back in the day when i used to play everyone was like basic filters has no use so it was tt food you just like grind it up on that and you got your levels that way and you know back that was back before vehicle structure engineering even existed. So we did this. Well, now this is like the basic. So, and, and you can tell it's the basic because it's the Listerium ingot and oil. Those are like the two most basic, most cheapest mining materials out there. But you take those and you, you can actually skill. If you can't go with the vehicle structure engineer, you want to go ahead and grind out some basic filters. Okay. Plain and simple because it's it's going to get you somewhere now i know a lot of people are going to want to you know chase that hall of fame 
crafting the explosive projectiles like all the rest of the kids that do it right in here that get all these big old whatevers no don't do it just don't do it not yet okay there there, there is certain reasons behind it and as you can see look i'm i'm, I'm going to get off of this right quick and we're, we're going to just go with all this all right let's see we have explosive projectiles one all right i'm just going to open it up it's level level one it's it takes you a zero level to even start doing it this is probably another good way to actually start leveling things up and honestly if you actually pull some of this stuff off you're probably let's, let's give it a little test run and did we get anything no we got a nano cube all right look that's not gonna be good for me i i, I want to show people something something good give me something good all right explosive projectiles okay there you go well let's just say that it also gave me not just explosive projectiles, but also metal residue. Okay, let's pretend that the last one gave me metal residue. Metal residue is very important. You want to know why? You want to know why? All right, I'll show you why right now. All right, so we're going to do a crafting run of, well, let's see. We can go, we only got two runs of this so far. We have... The, the ingots right here that required the metal mountings, which, you know, I had to craft those. Nano cubes, you can get those from the trade terminal. Two pearl stands. That's only why we have two remaining attempts. Simple conductors, I crafted those as well. Standard compressor, I crafted those. Standard matrix, I crafted those. So if, you, if you're getting what I'm, I'm putting out, if you can get a hold of one of these blueprints, these blueprints actually die after so many uses, okay? But you get a hold of a decent blueprint, something that, you know, not a lot of people have, like a limited bl blueprint or something like that. Find out what it takes to make and make them. However, be it, be advised, be aware that some of these things are, right, look, metal mountings. Well, let's take a look at this. Metal mountings. All right, so we're going to go out of limited, go back to any. Metal mountings. We don't even have to type all of it. A lot of this game, even on the auction house, you got to look up things at a one-on-one percent -on -one basis. Like if if you're looking for metal mountings, you look it up metal mountings. All right, but here we go, metal mountings. Look, this blueprint right here is a level four. It requires a recommended level of seven point five. If you are not seven point five, you might have to buy these off the auction house and have someone else craft it for you. Don't craft it. If it's just you, don't worry about it. You're going to have to grind up your levels a little bit more because it's pointless for you to sit there and waste your PED if you're not up to a good level. Vehicle structure engineer, the RK-5, go repair stuff. That's going to be your best bet. Go ask one of these mothership captains to help you skill that up. And I'm pretty sure... I guess some people require you to pay. I don't know. But that's one way. Or go to one of the zones that have a lot of PvP combat, you know, during a land grab or something, and just start repairing people's vehicles for them. You know, do anything that you possibly can to get that skill up because that, I mean, it's cheap. It's a lot cheaper than grinding it out in the crafting terminals. But the, all right, that being said, look, the metal mounting blueprint. We got 49 crafts of this. Let's go ahead and give it a good 10, a run of 10. All right, look. As you can see, my success rate for a level 4 blueprint is all the way over here. Now, I'm pretty sure if I was a little bit higher level, the, the green side of things would be at least a little bit more over here. For some reason, I think it just stays pretty much like this. However, there is probably another reason why it's not all the way over here. It's because most blueprints have a quality rating to them, especially if they're not limited, which this one is not. Which means you have to grind out from 0 to 100% on that blueprint, okay, for it to be more eco, okay? It's kind of like uh, grinding your skills. So it's a skill within a skill that you need to actually go into this. And that's why you want to get to at least level 10 in one of these professions right here. So you can unlock something called Blueprint Comprehension Skill. 
which is a skill, not one of these. So to be able to see that, we have to go in here, and I, I, I'm pretty sure, uh, oh no, blueprint comprehension, yeah, there we go. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of that, and I think what that means is, like, it levels up your blueprint skills a little bit more, or it does something with this. I don't know, I haven't looked into it, or I have forgotten, but you need it, all right? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you need it. It's important. It, it helps things out just a little bit more. But that being said, there's a lot of stuff that goes into crafting. And uh, if you're going to craft all the way on quantity, which I recommend you do, especially if you're trying to make something and you need all the successes that you can get, go ahead and go with this. Now, I'm pretty sure if it's like explosive projectiles or something like that, you just like crank it all the way up there and just like walk away from your computer and be like, oh my God, I got a Hall of Fame. It doesn't always work like that, but I mean, sure. But remember, if you get metal residue off of doing stuff like that, that's actually what a lot of people need to actually craft real things and not explosive projectiles. So keep that in mind. Holy smokes, look at that. Crafting it on all that, we actually managed to get a near success, but that was like three something all returned to us. Hey, 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 not bad. And I'm not trying to waste all of my my my. my standard plates because i actually had to go through all of that to make guys are you ready for this like this is gonna be a real thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you all about this all right so let's go ahead and go right back over through here just like that hey all right fine i'll just backspace you all right limited so now we're going to craft i guess maybe we'll we'll try and one of the two remaining attempts on this Yes, we even got enough metal residue. All right, so check this out. We're going to use residue. Stop when residue is depleted. And we're going to click both of these. Now, let's let's see what happens. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Dun -dun 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 -dun. As you can tell, we've gotten 65 PEDs worth of a R Matrix Light Rifle 30 or Laser Rifle 30 or LR30. It doesn't matter. 65. Now, it did not triggle, tr triggle the global right here because we used, me used metal residue with it. But it is a 65 PED item. Brand spanking new. Right there it is. And, but booyah. I mean, here, here it is. And that's what you use the metal residue for. Very important stuff. It, this is why it's so cheap, but it's needed. Okay. But there you go. Let's do something else. Uh, an LR15. Let's see how that works. And as you can see, it takes a lot of seven basic filters, seven basic sensors, seven basic sheet metal, one cobalt ingot, five metal rods, 170 nanocubes, one root acid, and six simple conductors. That's all it takes for an LR15. And it also takes... A significant amount of metal and energy matter residue yeah they're about the same thing all right and uh let's this is gonna hurt i just i i feel it coming i feel it coming in the air tonight there it is all right so yeah all of those mats just got destroyed it was, it was a failed craft it happens okay what can i say but uh, there we go 35 pd right there of course, a lot of it went into the metal residue, but, I mean, take a look. I was selling these things for bid only, and I was still getting some pretty decent prices. Let's see. Uh, still above 110. I know this for a fact. This little dip in the market was totally me. And uh, that, that happened, okay? And I guess a lot of people were trying to, I guess, selling it for hire at, right after. It is what it is. I don't mind. But just be aware of how, how all this market stuff works. All right. Well, I guess we'll make another LR15. Oh, we should have done a 20. Do we have enough for a 20? I don't think we did. We didn't. But as you can see, a near success only landed us uh, a return of about, well, I guess, some metal residue, some nanocubes, and a few of the actual materials required to actually make it. That all came back to us. Crafting can be easy, guys. It's just, it's going to take some money. 
Okay, there a lot of people don't know this. This game is really easy if you have a lot of money to throw at it. It's really hard if you don't know what you're throwing your money at because then you're not going to want to throw your money at it because you're smart. So you're not going to end up doing anything. And then you're going to get bored, and you're going to run away from the game and be like, oh no, I can't play that game, I'm broke. But if you know what you're doing, you, I mean, you're probably going to, you know, be able to get a good grasp. Now, remember, you know, it takes money to make money, and I know a lot of people, when they come to a game, they're like, well, I don't want to spend money. Well, then you're going to be working at the sweat factory with your little sweat tool, like this, like a slave. I, I hate to say it. It, 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 it's just the reality of the situation but you know a lot of people a lot of smart people that's how they did it i'm jealous but not that jealous because i don't feel like sweating but i do have a little bit of money so we do it like that we got two new weapons right there look i know I, it wasn't great i didn't get a, a hall of fame or anything like that but I just crafted two items. One of those items was over 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 50 PED. That should have been a global. I'm just saying. So, yeah. There you go. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe for more awesome Entropia Universe content. Guys, did you know? You're awesome. Until next time. Peace.